Okay, what's going on on the home front? We're talking about battles and things like that. Let's see what we were doing here at home to prepare for war abroad. We had the Office of War Mobilization, served as a policy-making board for numerous wartime agencies. World War II effectively ended the Great Depression, as we said in an earlier video, by creating massive unemployment in a wartime industry. And 15 million American men went off to war. But when they did that, they left open a whole bunch of millions and millions of factory jobs that needed to be filled by somebody. And so a guy named Norman Rockwell created Rosie the Riveter, uh, which is a, a beautiful young lady that is a, a riveting Liberty ships together. And the purpose of this uh, creation of this cartoon character was to show women that they could work in the factories and do the job of a man. And so millions of women left the house and they went to the factories and they got their jobs during this time. And let me let you in on a little secret, folks. After the war is over, they don't want to go back to the house. That's basically the end of uh, being a housewife for a million Americans after that war is over. Coming to the home front during World War II was rationing, okay? Rationing is whenever you have a supply of something and you have to stretch it out over several days or weeks or months, years even. The government issued rationing coupons on such goods as gasoline and nylon and rubber and all kinds of other stuff. And they encouraged Americans to plant victory gardens. So the point is you plant your own food so that way the commercially grown food can go to the war effort. Rationing existed to conserve raw materials needed by the military, but also created a black market to obtain scarce goods. And this makes inflation go very high because if you're buying something illegally on the black market, you're going to pay a higher price for it. So things like gasoline on the black market might be double the cost that it was at the station, but it was your only way of getting the gasoline. Massive un uh, employment along with rationing created inflation. Uh, what I was just saying. All right, here we go. How did the entry of the U.S. into World War II affect the economic conditions of American women? Okay, uh, let's see. And here we go. It brought a record number of women into the workforce. That is correct right there. All right, why did the U.S. government encourage the planting of victory gardens during World War II? Uh, let's see, to make up for domestic food supplies? No, that's not true. Uh, to create agricultural jobs? Nope. To increase food supplies available for shipment overseas? That sounds really good. And to ensure compliance? No. Okay, it's C, guys. C is the correct answer. All right, let's move on to the next one. During World War II, the U.S. government issued ration coupons... To do what? What was the point? Well, it's to conserve raw materials needed for the military. That is the correct answer. All right, next one. What was the, one of the biggest changes on the U.S. home front during World War II? All right, people, let's see, Patriot, no. Jobs were much easier to find, okay? Remember, folks, that the previous decade before World War II was the Great Depression. So there was millions of jobs that we needed at that time. Now we have millions of jobs that need people to fill them. So they were much, much easier to find. 